this lesson, you will learn how to create new releases in ALM Octane. Releases represents timeline which allows you to better coordinate the different implementation tasks in your workspace for any kind of activity regarding development, quality, deployment, and so on. Let's go to the management module in order to see how releases can be created. This is now the release module where I, as a user, if I have the permission, can add additional releases. To add a new release, click on the Add Release button. Provide a name. So let's say we create a new release called AOS 3.0. And now I can uh, decide if this release is affecting any programs within my workspace. So I can select those programs from here directly. What type of the release it is. So we offer two types. One is Scrum, the other one is Kanban. If you want to create a release which is more traditional, you create a Scrum release and change later on the size and dates of the sprints and bring the overlapping if needed. A Kanban release is just a flat release with a start and due date. Then provide a start date when this release should be started. So let's say it will start next week. And end date, it will go until, let's say, September the 13th. And here I can provide additional t uh, information uh, about the release. So let's say it's Advantage Online Shopping uh, version 3. And when a new sprint should offer, uh, occur. So I would say every two weeks we have a new sprint. And additionally, you can also add new fields, which will show you the creation time or active. If this release is active, for sure it's active. I'm creating now the release. Um, but there is another field called shared. And this is very important because currently what I have created or I will create is a release which is only valid locally for this workspace. But I can also decide to have shared releases means this release will not appear only here, but it will appear also in additional um, workspaces which are part of my shared space. So this is a great way to implement global releases, global timelines, which you have for your whole organization, um, where you should know when to deploy something or when not to deploy. So this is... Um, a great opportunity to engage with multiple workspaces as well as displaying uh, what is going on on organization level. So once you have uh, filled out the information, you can click on add and edit. So it will add a new release and go into the details. So let's do it. So now I'm in this release. I can see here the release is active. On the timeline, I can see basically the timeline per sprint and the teams with their uh, different velocity. So these are the teams which were added by default. Um, this is defined. Um, I can see it under uh, the teams uh, later on. What I can do now is I can also add milestones. Yeah, so let's say um, we add a new milestone around here for uh, sp1 and demo and then we go to the next one so we were here we say around here sp2 demo and so on so this will allow us to see where we have different uh, delivery items so it is uh, a great way to represent uh, those and um, you can also edit the sprints by clicking on edit and let's say that this would be a traditional release so you can say this is the design phase and you can save it so you will see this design phase is renamed and you can also change here uh, the end date yeah, so you can say this will be overlapping to sprint 2 it will be saved and Okay, now I did something 
completely wrong. Let me go back. Okay, yes, I can see it. It started here. I think it will be here. Now it's overlapping. Same I can do here for design. This would be then code or develop. And this is this is the end date. So let's say it will be like here. Overlapping to print three. And then here you can say this is testing, uh, pre-prod, release, whatsoever. So this is a way to build um, waterfall releases in case you need it. Um, under the tab teams, you can assign teams. Here, these are the default teams which are assigned with the default expected velocity on story points to deliver past print. And on attachment, I can attach uh, basically the files I need uh, to describe maybe the details, uh, the details of the release or any links URL attachment. I can add them from here. Um, so basically that's it. Uh, there is a very important, from my perspective, important um, uh, field like the active status. This is something you need to continuously manage. And once the release is over, you can say this is deactivated. This will allow you to really avoid um, execution on test of test cases on the wrong releases. Uh, make sure the releases which are uh, delivered, uh, deactivate those and um, just make that releases active only which you really need in your workspace. Um, this helps a lot to manage the right data at the right place.